What is up everybody, Dr. Peeves here on an episode of Luck vs. No Luck. Uh, as you can tell, we're back to the luck setup. Luck on the jewelry, bags, everything. Shield. Unfortunately, I don't have a luck weapon. Uh, yeah. Those are kind of expensive, but sooner or later we'll get one. But anyway. Oh, and we're flagging for PvP. Anyway, by now you know, we count purples, trophy maps. Uh, furniture schematics that are actually worth money, um, furniture pieces that are actually worth money, Legos, and I think that's about it. Lego schematic trophy, yep. Uh, this is day three, which we're just alternating days right now. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday my modem slash router slash everything decided to go out, so I wasn't really able to put out videos, but it happens. We're back today. We've got the videos. We're gonna get them out. All we're aiming for are big chests. We don't really care about the small ones, even though they could have Iron Guardsmen insignias or anything else cool in them. Not really the point of these videos. So. All I care about are getting the big ones. Hey, there is a, a uh, trophy piece right off the bat. Nice. The last time after I ran the route well, with this exact setup, I did my eight quick chests in Imperial Palace. And I was able to get another trophy piece. <laughs> and before this, I really hadn't had much luck with trophy pieces on this server. I'd only pulled one, maybe two. Then I got a loaded die. And then while running this setup, that is my third one so far. I don't really know the piece of furniture that we got, so we'll double check at the end if it's worth anything. We just usually go off market price. If they're it's at least 50 gold, we count it. If not, it does not get counted. And as Dunk, someone who has helped me a lot throughout all these series, has mentioned just because there is a market price for it doesn't mean that that's exactly what it you know, there are people actually buying it. Kind of makes you wish there was one of those uh, eBay type of things where you can see already sold stuff. Or, you know, I'm not going to move into PvP or anything. That's not the point of this video. If it happens, then it'll have to happen. But I'm uh, not chasing a roly boy healer down. Definitely not in the gear to PvP. There should be a piece of flint uh, there. So we can set up our tent. Always to set up a tent between these two. Uh, I've been caught out. You miss a jump one time, and the next thing you know, you're swarmed by ants. And you are down. Luckily, there seems to be someone helping to take out the ants for me. There's also another thing that doesn't count. Drops off the enemies do not count as well. 
I don't like using other people's tents if I don't have to, though this area seems to be way overflowed with people. I'm still gonna need one piece of green blood. Get me. Well, I got five, I did not. Camping on top of the chest. Oh, there it is. Get in the chest. I thought maybe standing on top of it. When you got two people, these these forts become pretty easy to clear out. At least two decent 60s. Solo, you can still do it. It's just I don't have good tutorial. <laughs> and my stats are kind of uh, whack right now, but. We'll take all the help we can get. Plant my penny stocks up there by just selling some junk on the trading post that I'm for. This one has yet to be cleared out. Let's hope we don't miss any jumps. This one has a great Viagra response. And really, here or out here, the only person that can hit you is a bicker. Well, we should have put the great act for all these clients coming up. I like having the hatchet just because you can move a lot quicker, but I don't feel like I'm going to get called out quite a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. we already, already called out. I haven't even started trying to get up here yet. Decided to do weird things, but I'm not gonna complain. Maybe, just maybe, we shall see a rifle bone while we're here. <laughs> And then the last two forts are just a cakewalk. Still could always get caught out by another PvP player. Like I said, I'm not geared for PvP by any means.
Come on. Come on. Standing hit since that first box, but all it takes is one. Unfortunately, the purple one, the purple trophy pieces have kind of plummeted, at least on this server. Still nice to pull, still nice to see. Always happy to see a trophy piece. I don't know what troll Raph label went, but. It's been forever since I've seen them. I'm not really in a good setup, even if I did see them, to try to take them down. Not here, and Ori's not here. So someone's been here kinda recently. It's always something to keep in mind. Not really sure if they took Rapple Bones out, what they did with his spawn or whatever, but was to where the point where we could spend about five people and even on, I guess this probably still would be, it would be considered a medium pop server, find them about two times a day on average, but it's been a good week or two since we've seen the old Rapple boy. That's sad. It saddens me deeply. The very fun part of the game, and if they did do something to his phone, they need to fix it. It wasn't, it still wasn't easy. I know in low pop servers you could force him to spawn in certain areas, but take that part out and put him back to where he's guaranteed to be at least in the area. It's not worth anything, and I have no idea about that furniture piece, but we will find out. Like I said, it's always worth just checking. And like I mentioned before, just because it's for sale on the market for a certain amount doesn't mean it will actually sell to that amount. There's another schematic, and I know that piece of... So we need to let the corruption take hit. And then pour it out of here. Six, four, two, ba -dum. Well, That's an expensive cooldown. How much is this one? Absolutely free. Nice. When in situations like that, when you're calling to an inn or to uh, a house or something, just let the corruption take hit because it will interrupt your fast travel. Text and now we've got to check freshwater barrel and oak end table. Well, 
the four available with 500, we'll count it. And the fresh water thing. One available for 400. Won't count that. Alright. Let's just add up our bounty. Big three, which is look. We ended up with one, two purple. Still no Legos, one schematic, one piece of trophy, and one furniture. So, so far, day one, two purples, two schematic, one trophy, no furniture, no Lego. Day two, three purple, and two furniture. Day three, two purple, one schematic, one trophy, one furniture. So, as of right now, besides the... Trophy pieces being weighed heavily on the luck side of everything. It seems like it's still kind of even, so it's hard to tell. But anyway, this has been Dr. Pete with another episode of Luck vs. No Luck. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.